cadre. Uh, <clears throat> you can tell, different bathroom. This is the bathroom of our stateroom. That's why we're so intimate. It's stuck on, on the mirror, but uh, anyway, it's a tiny place. Um, so I thought I'd see if I could get one of these off. One thing that's kind of odd um, is that you can pay for internet packages for Wi-Fi. Um, we don't, but we found with the iPhones, most of the time, text to other iPhones off the ship will go through just fine. And you can't think, send pictures or anything, uh, but also that's how I've been able to reply and post a few things on the cadre is that I just go to the internet and it just works and um, the cruise line has an app that you use during the cruise that will give you all the information of like, you know, what's going on and what the menu is and what movies are showing all that stuff just mixing up some stuff uh, my copper bowl my sterling synthetic we're using uh, K-Works Beechwood Forest, I believe it is. Yes. Or Beech, yeah, Beechwood Forest. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, I, I'm skeptical that I'll be able to get this uploaded on YouTube. I thought, let's give it a shot. That'd be pretty cool to actually upload something from from a ship we could barely FaceTime yesterday and tried my daughter <clears throat> and and that worked somewhat but I thought this is pretty cool I'm you know FaceTiming you from a moving ship in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea and Mediterranean oh, is an ocean, ocean. Uh, bouncing around satellites back to you know almost halfway across the world and Anyway, I'm, I'm wasting time. I was trying to think of what to talk about our ports, or um, but <clears throat> we saw some stuff yesterday that I thought I would just talk about uh, kind of as quickly as I could. The difference with, we're in a cruise, Disney cruise ship. The difference between this and other cruise ships are just some things that um, I don't notice I assume are a little bit different. Um, first, uh, Google Google Disney Cruise Line look at their ships. We think that they're just gorgeous. Compared, they're not big white boxes. Um, the bottom of their ship is not black. It's not allowed to be black. You can't have. Um, I think what they said, you know, for visibility, they don't allow black. But what they did was they made. It's Disney now. They made their own color. They wanted the ship to look like. Um, Disney colors and, and like Mickey, Mickey's colors. Mickey's got black pants, we can't use black. So they made a blue so dark that it looks black. That's not black. So they're going to use that. They also uh, had to get the cover, color of their light boats approved. Um, light, life boats, almost always orange. Again, for visibility. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know what law, maritime law did, but some law. I don't know if there's international law or how that works. Anyway, um, they developed the, the color of, the Mickey shoes are yellow, I believe, but they developed a, a yellow color and then they had to pay for all of the safety testing, uh, visibility testing, all that stuff, um, and petitioned to be able to use that so that their boats look just the way they want them to. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we think that they're gorgeous ships. Um, and as you can imagine, Disney is known for its service and patient care. Uh, patient care. I'm a nurse. We keep talking about patient care experience, uh, their customer experiences and things. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so I think that would be one of the number one thing. You know, of course, if you have Disney, you've got the Disney characters on board, so that's one big difference. Um, so they have official greetings, like they've got uh, 
some princess greetings where they got four or five princesses lined up in the atrium. Um, and it's free, but uh, now they've moved to a ticketing system to kind of decrease some of the bedlam. Um, but, you know, you can take the pictures yourselves, and of course they have the ship photographers that will take pictures with you, but um, other than that, they've got all sorts of other characters, and so Goofy's a common one to see walking around the ship, and they'll have photo times, and, and Mickey, Mickey and Minnie, uh, there's always usually a pirate night, and so Jack Sparrow will be around for pictures. Um, so they've got these formal times where they'll stand there and you do your pictures, but it's also, you know, you hear about, the, you know, especially Goofy, he puts on a, his costume turns into a nightgown, it's like a night hat, and he'll go around at night, you know, <laughs> around the halls like he's sleepwalking. Um, Mickey and Minnie, depending on where we're going, like Mickey is often Sailor Mickey and has a captain's hat, and I forget what else. Last night was formal night, so we saw Mickey in his tuxedo. So it's that kind of stuff's a little different. Um, but we don't have kids with us this time, so we didn't do, we do one formal portrait, and that's our thing is when we do a Disney cruise, we, in the atrium of each cruise ship, they have a stat, different statue of, I don't know which, which Disney character they assigned the ship from. So this, we're on um, the Magic, which was the first Disney ship ever made. So the statue there is Mickey Mouse. So we get our formal picture taken with that. We buy that and hang it up at home. Uh, but some of the other differences, again, like I just wanted to, a lot of people know about cruising. If you don't want to hear anything, if you're planning on doing a Disney cruise, you don't want any spoilers, then don't watch this video. But anyway, even if you know, I mean, we keep coming back. Um, their, oh, I was going to, I was talking about how the colors on their boat are a little bit, on their ship are, are different, but just the whole appearance of the ship is just incredible. The, the cleaning and maintenance that they do on this thing, I think is, is top bar none. Um, and you can see that we've sailed on a couple other cruise lines and, uh, while they might keep it clean, it's not this is spotless. I mean, you, you won't find a dot of rust anywhere. And on uh, some of the other cruise lines, or you, when we pull up next to another cruise ship in port and everybody's checking each other out, you can catch some rust up in the corners outside, stuff like that. They are constantly painting and cleaning, uh, varnishing the outside. We walk by um, a couple different maintenance crews yesterday. Um, one of them was, a lot of the stuff here is, um, actual wood. Um, you know, we, we pulled up on a cruise ship years ago and looked across and on their deck you can see like, um, those lawn chairs with the big wide, like rubber netting, or not netting, but just strips that you kind of sit on so where you sit your butt goes down and stuff. Here this, they've got on the, on the deck wooden lounge chairs with cushions on them where they put the shuffleboard stuff to put it away is a wood like cabinet outside the deck is wood and so they're constantly up uh, keeping that um, we saw on one cruise that they take some of the railings off the stairs down late at night varnish them in the shop come reinstall them the next day um, yesterday they were varnishing one of the big boxes like just the big can boxes that have the trash I don't know what you know you go to, uh, fast food and they got the trash things you put the little flappy door and you stick anyway they're revarnishing that saw they were cleaning uh, one of the decks of wood floor there's a crew of like five guys out there with like soapy water and the and those big uh, disc spinning uh, floor cleaning machines so anyway That's a big difference, whether or not you have kids or not, or just being on a place where everything, like I said, this is their oldest ship, but you, you have no clue when you're on here. 
um, that it's not just, you know, six months old. Uh, dining is something else that's a little different on this. Oh, well, here, look. Some other things. You got, uh, should, on the thing about how to reuse your towels and stuff, you got Ariel. On the, uh, show you on the, the towels, you got the Mickey Cruise Line logo. And just those little details are all over the place. Um, the bathrooms themselves are known for having uh, bathrooms that are family friendly. So on any cruise ship you're on, the, the bathrooms are going to be tiny. I mean, this one you can see up here. This is the shower right here. I mean, and, and I got four inches stretching my arm out. I can't show you, but this is the shower. You got a sink here. But then there's another bathroom on this side that has a sink and a toilet. So especially if you're a family and people are having to get ready, somebody can be using the restroom while somebody's showering or they're doing their hair or whatever. Um, so that's unusual in the cruise industry that you'd have more than one. Whatever you want to call these. I don't know if it's, this is a bathroom since it doesn't have a toilet. Some of the other things, the rotational dining I'll talk about quick. Yeah, see, this is, we could, I, like my wine video, we could sit down and talk for an hour about this cruise, and I'll probably do one talking about the ports that we stopped at and what we did, but, um, most cruise lines tend to have a, uh, where did I put my towel? Oh, I guess I left it out in the other room. Um, most of the other cruise lines have one big uh, main dining room. Disney has three, and they split you up. You either have early dining or late dining. Um, <clears throat> there's Lemon. And they have three different restaurants. Each one has a different theme. So we just ate at... Rapunzel's something or other last night. There's one called Animator's Palette, and I forget the other one, but two of them, you get some kind of show while your meal's going on. So last night, they were doing it was Ariel's birthday, and I don't remember the movie much, but there's these big henchmen, so the henchmen meet you at the, at the door, and you know, it's Disney, so you walk in, and it's not just a white dining room, it's all, um, this one looks like you're inside maybe a castle or a pub or something back in the day. And it all looks wooden, um, but they had the big scary henchmen all dressed up that uh, greet you and then <clears throat> teach you uh, what their salute is, where you clap and stomp and this kind of stuff. And then they sing a few songs throughout the meal and then uh, Rapunzel, did I say Ariel? It's Rapunzel's wh wherever it is, it's her birthday. So Rapunzel comes out and stops at every table and you know, they sing some more songs and stuff like that. That's cool. Animator's Palette is probably my fav favorite one. You walk in, and it's all designed like, kind of like a artwork, except it's black and white. You know, the pillars inside the uh, main room are paintbrushes that have lights on the top that can change color, and all around the room, it's all black and white, but they've got screens all over the place that are slowly showing sketches of... Disney scenes and scenes and things like that that just keep, keep just keeps happening throughout the meal and then towards the end of the meal you get this blight music show that actually goes on for quite a while and slowly the place turns into color you know it was black and white and then they go through all of this they're showing clips of uh, Disney movies trying to tell a story about I think uh, starts with danger and then escaping danger and then everything's fine and then boom everything's in color and, excuse me, during that, your servers had a black and white vest on, and they went back, and everybody comes out. Well, first, the uh, Sorcerer Mickey comes out, dancing around all happy. And then uh, your servers come out, and everybody's got colored vests on now. And Anyway, it's very cool. So you personally get assigned a dining rotation through those three restaurants that's on your little cruise card that tells you what night you're going to which restaurant so you'll hit all of them um, we're here for eight nights we hit two of them three times and one twice 
And it's a different, if it's a place where they do a show, it's a different show each time you go there. Uh, so that's <clears throat> cool. You don't have to decide, you know, when you're going to, some, you know, some of these anytime dining cruises, you have to sign up um, for a certain time slot unless you want to go there and just wait for availability, things like that. Uh, but the other cool thing is your serving team goes with you to the different restaurants. So every night you get the same uh, server and assistant server and they get to know you. Um, <clears throat> and especially if you have kids, it's super cool. They do, you know, kind of uh, puzzle games at the table for the kids. Uh, when the kids get their food, they get a different menu. And if they're getting like burgers and fries and they do ketchup, they squirt ketchup in the shape of a Mickey onto your plate, which is, of course, like a shape like a Mickey. Um, was, um, but they get to know you, so if you order the same drink a few nights in a row, then um, I've seen that where it's, it's waiting for you when you get to the table is, you know, if you get Diet Coke or iced tea, what have you, it's already there. If you bring kids, they help uh, cut up the kids' food for you, all this kind of stuff. So anyway, it's pretty cool. So it's neat you see the same people the whole time you're here, and uh, they get to know you. <coughs> so, I'm obviously done with my shave. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about um, that, and um, I guess uh, I'll just end with cruising in general. Um, people that haven't tried it, you hear all the time, well, I'm going to be stuck on a ship, I'm going to be bored, all this stuff. Um, there is a reason why people keep doing cruising over and over, is because it's not that way. Some of the smaller ships, there might be a little bit less entertainment. Um, but especially Disney and they think uh, you're going without kids <clears throat> There's so much to do and there's an adult only area um, They have an adult adult only area pool with a bar and Lounge chairs all that kind of stuff and then at night they have an adults only area where during the day It's open to everybody and they do kids activities, but at night there's uh, Music in one bar there's an old Gills pub that always has like pub snacks available and you know, it's designed dark and woody and uh, like an old English pub and they usually have sports playing on the TVs. And then just kind of a main, I don't know what, lounge or something like that where they have adult oriented games uh, every night which are pretty cool and then comics, magicians, things like that. So it's not like you're going to be bored and it certainly doesn't feel like you're trapped on anything because I mean there's so many places you can go and you don't if you've never been on a cruise ship just the sheer size of these things is just I mean you can hear about it and you can see pictures but until you get on and you realize that walking from one end to another down the corridor and on floors that only have uh, rooms guest rooms that it's like blocks like at least two city blocks that you're walking to get from one end to the other so anyway I know I didn't cover all that much but I will just thought I'd see if I could shoot a video out from the seas all right so one one way or another today or when I get back you'll see this hope everybody's having a good time um, and I'll update as possible